Say amen. Praise the Lord. Instead of question time, I'm going to look at a few verses of scripture. You can sit down, please. God bless you. Because of the importance of what we have studied today about suffering, the question is, what will suffering produce in your life? A miracle or misery? As you look at suffering, suffering persecution, suffering misunderstanding, suffering misrepresentation, suffering of whatever kind, because you are a Christian, because you are a believer. As we look at people generally in the church, in the Bible, and in the past, as well as contemporary times, suffering can produce miracle, or suffering can produce misery. Doesn't matter the reason for the suffering. Look at First Peter chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering. You see the word there, suffering in the plural. And then it says, is the suffering of Christ. And you are partakers of that. It says, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Verse 14, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, tell me, is glorified. Look at verse 13 again. But, tell me, but shout it out. Rejoice. Now tell me, is that a command or is that a suggestion? I can't hear you. I'm looking at number one, a command to be obeyed. A command to be obeyed. You see, very many people, they rejoice only what is happening is understandable to them. I understand this, so I'm happy. My prayers are answered, so I'm happy. Everybody is favoring me, so I'm happy. All needs in my life are met, so I'm happy. Even the unbelievers are telling me that you have changed for the better. Your life is encouraging. And everybody is uh, kind of lifting me up. Then they are happy. But now, a command waiting to be obeyed. Look at the command. Verse 13. But rejoice. Inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad you'll be glad i said you'll be glad you'll be glad also with exceeding joy look at this again if ye be reproached if ye be ridiculed if ye be reviled if ye be insulted if ye be resisted if ye be put under suffering, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. Again, it's a form of command. Be happy, be glad, rejoice. And he gives us the reason for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part is evil spoken of, 
but on your part is glorified a command to be obeyed matthew chapter 5 in matthew chapter 5 reading from verse 12 tell me the first word in verse 12 open your bible tell me the first word in verse 12 rejoice is that a suggestion a command tell me tell me a command a command that is waiting for you to obey because many have not obeyed this we're sorrowful we're sad we drop our heads we're walking about as often see what is happening to me see what i'm going through command rejoice look at the extension of that command and be exceeding glad and be exceeding glad when you face challenges when you face suffering when persecution is thrown at you and when you suffer it commands you and it says rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you what's the command again what's the command again luke chapter 6 luke chapter 6 read from verse 22 in luke chapter 6 verse 22 blessed are ye when men shall hate you hate you hate you they look at you they turn the other way they look at you they make their face in a local way like a village man a village woman and they might speak on the ground they might do whatever they're telling you we don't like what you have got now you've got and you've got regeneration salvation born again born again they don't want that and so they express hatred but blessed are you heaven will bless you when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company what are you doing here you're not part of us but you said you are born again you said you have gone to a bible believing church you said you belong to christ now you said you are looking at heaven you said you are thinking about heaven what are you doing here they separate you and they cast your name away and they shall reproach you revile you insult you assault you and then it says and cast out your name as evil even the mention of your name even the telling of your name they count that as evil for the son of man's sake verse 23 tell me the word there read until the punctuation mark comma there rejoice in that day when he cast away your name when they show that they hate you when they say you're not part of us when they say we don't count you even as a human being in that day rejoice ye in that day is that a suggestion a command a command rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy leap for joy is that a command or suggestion leap for joy it's like something great is happening to me heaven is going to take note of me i have practiced my faith and my christian conviction to the point that they take note of me and they don't like my consecration they don't like my commitment they don't like my character they don't like my christ likeness and they now associate me with christ heaven is looking at how i am going to respond to that and i live for joy rejoice ye in that day and live for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven 
the more persecution I have, the more reward I have in heaven. And if you have zero persecution, you try to manage yourself, and then you like to try to look good before those persecutors, and you apologize to them, and you cringe before them, and you say, why are you trying to persecute me? I'm just like you. Okay, if I made a mistake in standing out clear, if I made a mistake in being distinct, if I made a mistake in making my faith to be directly opposite your life of defilement, then I'm sorry. When you say you are sorry to your persecutor, you lose your reward in heaven. I will not lose my reward in heaven. Let the fire burn. Let the heat get hotter. Let the persecution come. I will rejoice. Say that after me, I will rejoice. You will rejoice. Even here on earth, great will be your reward. And the people that are persecuted will turn around and say, that man is different. That woman is different. I'm talking about somebody there. It will be like that for you in Jesus' name. It says, for in like manner, did their fathers unto the prophets. We have a command waiting to be obeyed. John chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 33. John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. I have peace. I said, I have peace. You know, there are people, they measure their peace by what outsiders do to them. A real believer measures his peace by the Christ who lives in him. Christ says, Behold, I stand at the door. And knock. If anyone opens the door, I will come into him and sup and fellowship with him. And Christ that lives on the inside is the Prince of Peace. And so, when it is turbulent outside, when the persecutors are very serious and they hammer you with words, hammer you with action don't look at them don't look outside look on the inside and the prince of peace there will give you abiding peace in jesus name the six have i spoken unto you that in me you see that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but tell me somebody is that a suggestion or a command a command be of good cheer be cheerful carry yourself with happiness and be cheerful and somebody looks at you and he says you look happier today than i ever saw you you say yes and he says why because the world around me just shows me I am like Christ. And they have now openly declared that they recognize I am like Christ. And what they did to Christ, what they would have done to Christ, if Christ were here today, they're doing to me. I rejoice, I'm cheerful, I'm glad that I am identified with Christ. It says, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Any overcomer here today? Praise the Lord, I overcome. I said, praise the Lord, I overcome. Is your persecutor sitting beside you? Why are you not talking? I said, praise the Lord, I overcome. Number two, a miracle waiting to be obtained. A miracle waiting to be obtained. 
when you are suffering, depending on where you lean, either in misery, some misery, or a miracle, I want to show you how to have a miracle during the time of your suffering. Are you ready? A miracle. Somebody shout a miracle. A miracle waiting to be obtained. There are three people I'm going to show you. One, Joseph. Two, Jabez. Three, Jehoshaphat. Look at chapter 45 of Genesis. I'm going to get a miracle today. I said I'm going to get a miracle today. Your persecutors will be surprised. Something is going to happen to you. If they didn't persecute you, that thing will not happen. But now, because they have persecuted you, God is going to show them you are a beloved child of God. And all the prophecies that he had given before, all the pronouncements that he made before concerning you, your persecutors will speed up your miracle in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 45, I'm reading from verse 3. Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Does my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. That man got to the mountain top. When your enemies, persecutors, see you on the mountain top, they will be troubled. We we'll try to bring him down, we we'll try to destroy him. And he used the stones we threw at him as stepping stones to get to the mountain top. I'm talking to somebody. Look at verse 8. So now, it was not you that sent me here. You didn't throw the stone at me to make the stones a stepping stone. I discovered God arranged all those stones into a staircase. And through those stones, I now climb up. Somebody is climbing up today. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. And he has made me. He will make you. He has made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of all his house. And a ruler throughout, a ruler throughout, a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. You missed your amen. Verse 26 and told him, they told their father, they went back home saying, Joseph is yet alive. Anybody still alive there? Joseph is still alive. Anything that died in you because of persecution, your initiative died, it will be alive today. Your wisdom was buried because of persecution. Every time I speak, every time I talk, every time I do this, then it's like they say, shut up, shut up, shut up. And now I don't even have my voice. I don't have backbone. I don't have wisdom. I don't have vision. Everything that died in your life because of suffering and persecution, wake up in Jesus' name. Joseph is yet alive. You will not die until you get to the mountain top in Jesus' name. And he is governor over all the land of Egypt. That's Joseph. Let me look at Jabez. First Chronicles chapter 4. In First Chronicles chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 9. 
First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren And his mother called his name Tell me Jabez Because I bear him was sorrow When Jabez came to this world As he opened his eyes like this For the first time in the world He opened his eyes into sorrow and suffering Sadness And then it was like that for some time No matter when you are born No matter how you are born no matter into what you were born There is going to be a reversal today He said I born him in sorrow And Jabez called on the God of Israel saying Oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed Number one you are blessed today And enlarge my course Number two your course is enlarged today your vision is enlarged. Amen. Students, your education, there's enlargement. Amen. Professionals, your profession, there's enlargement today. Amen. And that thine hand might be with me, the Almighty will be with you. Amen. And the hand of the Almighty will strike out all the hands of the persecutors in Jesus' name. Amen. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil At school keep me from evil In the place of work keep me from evil On the road keep me from evil Before an accident happens take me away from evil And when insecurity is roaming about on our street Keep me from evil He has kept you He will keep you that suffering came to open the door to your miracle and God granted him and God granted him and God grant you that which he requested he'll grant you what you request in Jesus name number one Joseph number two Jabez number three who is that Jehoshaphat, Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 12. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 12. Oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. You look at the height of your persecutor. The weight of your persecutor And the fury of your persecutor And then your heart is beating We have no might against this great company That comes against us Neither know we what to do I'm at sea, I'm troubled I don't have any solution to their suffering Neither know we what to do But our eyes are upon thee My eyes are upon the Lord Verse 22 And when they began to sing A command to be obeyed and the commanders rejoice. The commanders be glad. The commanders lift up for joy. And then they express their joy in their suffering, in their battle, in their difficulty. They express their joy with singing and praise. You will see. When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushments against the children of Ammon. Those are your enemies, they are gone. Moab, they are down. And Mount Seir, they are defeated, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. And they were smitten. They were not praying for their defeat, you know. 
they were not praying for their downfall they were just singing and rejoicing they were just obeying the commandments of the lord that when you suffer for christ when you suffer for righteousness rejoice be glad for joy and be cheerful and be excited that you are living in such a day like this as they were obeying the command a miracle took place for them as you obey the command a miracle will take place for you number one a command waiting to be obeyed number two a miracle waiting to be obtained number three a song waiting to be rendered a song waiting to be rendered your song is composed already yeah. i said your song is composed already yeah. and this song is waiting waiting to be rendered look at acts chapter 16 acts chapter 16 i'm reading from verse 19 and when a master saw that the hope of their gaze was gone they caught paul and silence and he drew them on into the marketplace unto the rulers and he brought them to the magistrates saying these men being jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being romans and the multitude rose up together he gave them and the magistrates rent up their clothes and commanded to to do what tell me now but understand that's not the end that's not the something that never happened in their land is going to happen a miracle they never saw they're going to see the beating the insult and the thing they might do against you that that's a minor thing look at what is going to happen from this afternoon something is going to happen yeah. your enemies will be surprised yeah. your cup for miracles will be so full it will spill over to many other people in jesus name yeah. remember 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 anytime you suffer you know that something 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 supernatural is on the way verse 23 and when they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely who having received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks are you following the story what stocks be used on earth to bind their feet look at it now heaven is going to come it's going to destroy those things whatever those persecutors have used to bind you that you don't have any voice again and you don't have any mind any heart again you don't have any conviction again and they bind your conviction and they bind your backbone see what is going to happen this morning I said this morning, I said this morning, all those things they used to put stalks in your feet and then you are just there, I cannot talk now, I'm ashamed, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that, since I became born again, pastor look at this, pastor look at this, I even wanted to ask a question, your question is answered already, look at, look at verse 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas tell me, preach, and what did they do? I said, what did they do? They sang praises unto God. A song waiting to be rendered. And the prisoners had them. And suddenly, why don't you shout that word suddenly? That's how your miracle will come. That's how your deliverance will come. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaking and immediately and immediately tell me tell me tell me 
If you believe it's going to happen, say it aloud. All the doors were open. Tell me the rest. All those talks they put in their feet. Heaven came, loosed everything, and threw them away. All your yokes are broken. All your yokes are broken today. And everything is loose from you in Jesus' name. A command waiting to be obeyed. A miracle waiting to be obtained. A song waiting to be rendered. Your song is already composed. Are you going to sing? Are you going to sing? Are you going to sing? Rise up and rejoice. Rise up and rejoice. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. This is happening to me, that's happening to me. Miracles will not come by crying. Tell the Lord, I rejoice today. Tell the Lord, I'm glad today. Tell the Lord, I break out in song. I break out in praises, even because of the persecution. Rejoice. 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 Persecution under your feet. Suffering under your feet. Obey the command. A command waiting to be obeyed. Is the persecution at all? Rejoice. Don't let the persecutor see you weep. Let them see laughter. Let them see joy. Let them see gladness. Be of good cheer. Be glad. Happy are ye. Be excited. This is happening to you. A command to be obeyed. A miracle waiting to be realized. A miracle waiting to be obtained. By the joy that you have, joy in persecution, joy in suffering, joy in misrepresentation, by the joy you have, a miracle will take place. Remember Joseph, remember Jabez, remember Jehoshaphat. His song to be rendered. Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. When they prayed. And they sang praises unto God. The doors of the prison were open. And everyone's bands. And everyone's bands. And everyone's bands were loosed. Don't cry when you suffer. Don't murmur when you suffer. Don't complain when you suffer. When you murmur, you drive the miracles away. When you complain, you push the miracles away. But when you rejoice, when you see, when you are happy, when you obey the commandment and you are cheerful, you draw the miracles near. I will rejoice. Somebody there, I will rejoice. I will praise the Lord. 
I will sing praises unto the Lord. Your miracle is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. All the pronouncements of God in your life that the relatives of Joseph are trying to hinder all the walls of partition hindrance is taken away in Jesus name am I talking to somebody there is somebody having a miracle this morning where is she where is he my sister there, the in-laws are saying, since you got married, there's no child, there is no child. And I see you go to the toilet, and then you are crying, crying there. And then you come out, by the time you come out, your eyes are red. And your husband says, what's happening to you? Look at your eyes. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no, you don't want to tell there's something, but you know, barrenness is taking away this morning. <laughs> Raise up your hand for your miracle. There will be no mystery in your life again. All those challenges and all those sufferings, everything will come under your feet this morning in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the revelation of your word. Oh Lord, I pray for every brother and every sister. I pray for every husband and every wife. I pray for every mother and every father. I pray for every student and every youth. I pray for the boys and the girls. I pray for anyone who has been crying privately because of suffering and because of persecution. Oh Lord, break the yoke of persecution in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that as they have suffered, as they have cried, I pray you push all that aside. Let a miracle come to everyone. Let the supernatural come for everyone. And whatever has brought tears and whatever has brought any kind of suffering, I pray, roll them away in Jesus' name. Miracles of abundant joy. Miracles of abundant provision. Miracles of children for the barren. Miracles of success for the student. Miracle that is expected by everyone as the enemies have been reproaching them. Miracles in Jesus' name. Your sorrow is gone. Your suffering has come to an end. You carry a miracle now. From now, you keep on singing to show it to the world. I got it. I got it. I got it. Lord, confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Every stalk, every yoke, every bunch, binding anyone from heaven, lose them in Jesus' name. Provision for the poor job for the jobless and all the ridicule of the enemies stop the mouths of those enemies and put joy and laughter in the mouths of everyone today we've got the miracle we've got the breakthrough we've got the supernatural turn around confirm it in every life lord we thank you because we know it is done for you it is done for my brother for my sister there it is done for my son for my daughter there it is done go on rejoicing in your life in jesus name we pray